Alberto Marias has still got it. So we're going to talk about Mizin Seer. Hey, Fragrance family, I'm Dave and I'm a fragrance bro, of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Now, Alberto Marias is a legend in the fragrance world. He's made two moderately successful fragrances, CK1 and Aqua Di Gio by Armani. Of course, I'm being sarcastic. They're wildly popular. Those are just a couple of his really great creations. Of course, he has... Um, Maybe a couple that aren't so great. <laughs> now, I mentioned Alberto Marias because he started the house Mise en Cire, and he actually started it back in 1999 making scented candles. Now, they still sell scented candles on their website, and you can go and find those, but they started making perfumes in EDP concentration, and I believe they started back in 2015. That's the earliest I could find on Fragranica, anyway. And I just so happened to get a couple of fragrances that just showed up at my door from Mise en Cire, so this is the perfect time to talk about the line. Now, I haven't tried everything from the line, so I'm not going to be talking about everything that they offer, but I will be talking about the ones that I have here. And so far, just from these fragrances, I think this is really, really good. I love the direction they're going in. These are really wearable, and I am very impressed just by what I've smelled so far. So maybe in the future, we'll make a part two or part three going down Mise en Cire's catalog. We'll just see. But for now, let's go ahead and get to the first fragrance from my review, and that is Vert Empire. Now, Mise en Cire has almost 25 fragrances in their line, so obviously this is not representative of the entire line. But I think this is really cool to kind of talk about these two, and I would love to, at a further date, try more fragrances from them because I was so impressed with these two from their line. Now, from their website, they say that Vert Empire is supposed to be reminiscent of the perfumer's time spent in his garden. They say it has notes of citrus combined with cardamom, and then it goes into scents of trees and wood paired with soothing sandalwood and sage. I definitely get all the notes that are listed here, and in a very harmonious blend. You get the citrus, I get a lot of sandalwood, I get almost a fig type of scent out of this, and because of that, it reminds me kind of of Un Jardin in Mediterranean by Hermes, and that was kind of reminiscent of a Mediterranean garden, had notes of fig and that type of thing. This kind of reminds me of that, but I think it's even better than that. I think this is a lot stronger than that, first of all, which is great, but also I think it's deeper and more complex. It is so nice to wear. It's a beautiful scent that I really love, especially in spring and summer. It has just that vibrancy and freshness and greenness that I'm looking for. It's excellent. It lasts a pretty good amount of time, average, maybe above average. I love the bottles of these two. I love how classy they are. It's just a really great presentation overall, but just a really great scent, solid. I've talked to a lot of people who have tried Mise en Cire and they said that Vert Empire is one of their favorites. And I can see why. It's a banger of a fresh scent. Definitely check out Vert Empire or Vert Empire, however you say it. <laughs> Next is the newest fragrance in the line and that is Ombre Magique or Amber Magic. <laughs> now, Ombre Magique is obviously an amber fragrance, as you can tell from the name. And it is a thick, thick, juicy amber scent. I know there are a lot of people out there who really like their ambers, and if you're one of those people, you've got to check out Ombre Magique. Now, me personally, I'm not the type of person who loves amber scents, but I can definitely see why people would like this one. Whenever you first spray this, it is beastly. I mean, it is powerful. It is a potent beast. <laughs> first of all, you get the amber accord. On top of that, as it dries and it kind of loses that kind of punch in the face, you get the more subtle notes in here. Notes like mandarin and cardamom, orange blossom, especially orange blossom. I get a nice, really lovely orange blossom that pokes up and it just brings this nice kind of velvety texture to it. Other notes in here are Bulgarian rose, bourbon vanilla, musk, sandalwood. You obviously get the bourbon vanilla in this. That's one of the huge kind of left hooks of the amber here. It's a very sweet, very powerful amber scent that is massive and in your face. But I like that it has kind of that softer side with some of the more floral aspects there. That kind of brings out a certain aspect of it that I think is really nice. Amber in general has this kind of sensual type of quality, and I really like it for that. And because it kind of leans into that, the floral aspect really enhances that quality to it, which makes it just a really sexy type of scent. I think especially for ladies out there. But if you like ambers in general, definitely check out Ombre Magique. I think it is just a great amber in general. Maybe not for me personally, 
but I think it's fantastic. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online reseller that sells thousands of legitimate products for a discounted cost. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. But also check out Rakuten.com. Rakuten.com is a website that offers you a rebate with every purchase that you make through their website. They actually have a deal with Fragrance X that offers you a certain percentage in rebates just by buying through Rakuten. So I'll have a link down below to them as well. Definitely check out Fragrance X and Rakuten together. Great. So that is all I have. I really like this line so far, and I've only tried just a few from the line, but so far, even just from the few that I've tried, I have been really impressed. So I'm really looking forward to trying more, and I highly recommend that you just go and just find a couple of samples somewhere of the line and see what you think. I love how fine-tuned these are. They're very wearable. I love how wearable they are. They have a unique spin on them. It's a really great line. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you for it. Tell me what you think of the mise en line, or maybe I'm even mispronouncing it. I don't even know. <laughs> Do you like it, love it, hate it? Let me know, and let me know what your favorite is. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Pros.